everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your kettlebell abs workout. So we're gonna be working our core the entire time and all you need for this workout is a kettlebell and a mat. Uh, everything that we're doing with the kettlebell you can also do with a dumbbell and just be aware guys of the weight of your kettlebell. If you have a heavier one like I do, I have an 18. Uh, just be careful on your neck and your head. We're gonna do a lot of things where we're lifting traditional ab moves. If it feels like you're straining or you're pulling too much here, drop it down, just do the move without the kettlebell. You always have the option of dropping it. So just be careful. And as always, get a warm up and stretch on your own and a cool down and we're gonna jump right in. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our kettlebell. We're in a seated position. So we're holding it here, chest up, back is straight, and we're just going halfway back for two. So we're just holding it right, chest level, pull everything in, breathe, inhale, exhale, breathe out as you come up, and down. And just making sure, guys, that you keep that back straight, that we're not rounding, getting into that lower back, that we're keeping it up. Kettlebells close to the body. We'll go two more, just like this. And one more, so keep it here if that feels good. If you want, let's take it all the way down and bring it up. So you can tell just by having that added weight, it's making it tougher. What we wanna make sure that we're not using momentum, that we're not pulling with that back, that you're really using the abs. If it feels like too much, just go back to the halfway like we did in the beginning. If you wanna to add a little extra arms, press it to the top. Elbows in, breathe and press, and we'll go a couple more. Last one. And breathe, knees out to the side. So again, you can tell if you have one of those heavier kettlebells, it might feel like a little too much, take breaks if you need to. So we're gonna stay here, kettlebell in the center, and we're just gonna touch it down to the side. So little twist motion, again, I'm just holding on the outside of the kettlebell, and guys, I really want you to actually touch it. Usually we wanna to try to do this, but let's try to get as far down as we can. As long as it feels okay in your back, this is gonna really get that torso rotation, really work the sides, those love handles that we really like to work. Twist, touch, and if you wanna add an extra challenge, bring those feet up. That's gonna make it a little tougher. Breathe, and we'll go four, Three, two, and one. Knees out, little stretch over, breathe. Good, so let's take it all the way down. Grab that kettlebell, we're holding it right here. Feet are gonna be straight up, and I'm just gonna lift my shoulders towards my feet. So I'm gonna keep my head in neutral spine, so I'm not pulling that neck or letting it drop down. I'm just lifting and lowering, small crunch, Breathe out, we wanna add some arms, little press up, bring it down, press, focus on the ab contraction, really pull the belly button in. Again, because we've got the added weight, we really wanna make sure that we're not pulling with that neck. And we'll go four, breathe, three, two, and one. So let's hold this kettlebell at the top, relax your shoulders, give your head and neck a rest, let's lower the legs. So you decide how far you wanna go down. If you feel like you're arching your back or it feels like too much, just keep it small. You can go halfway or even just a third of the way, or you can go further if you're feeling good about it. Just holding that kettlebell up is gonna make our abs work a little harder to steady and stabilize, but if that starts to feel like too much, just go ahead and bring it down. Lower those legs. My back is nice and flat. Everything's pulled in. Breathe. Two more. And last one. And relax. Good, guys. So bring those knees and rest the kettlebell for just a second. So I'm gonna take it up. My feet are here. I'm gonna crunch up over my knees and push my feet out. Bring the kettlebell behind the head. Lift over the knees. And again, guys, as we go over the head, this is where I might pull a little bit if you have a heavier kettlebell. You're really gonna feel your abs, which is what we want, but if you feel too much in the neck, take a break or set the kettlebell aside and just do the motion. Lift the shoulders, kettlebell over the knees, and breathe, and lift, and breathe. 
pull everything in, belly button towards the mat. Two more. Breathe up, lift. Last one. And relax. Good work, guys. Let's take that down to the side. We're gonna give our hands a break from the kettlebell. Finish out here. Bicycle crunch, you know it. Opposite shoulder towards the knee. And breathe, just giving our hands and our head and our neck a little break from that kettlebell before we take it over into plank position. Twist, lower that leg low, breathe. And we'll go four, twist, shoulder blades off the ground, three, two, last one right here. And relax, hug those knees in. Good work, you guys. So we're turning it over into our plank position. So I'm gonna put the kettlebell on one side of the mat. I'm gonna come all the way up into my hands on a full plank here. So I'm here, kettlebell is there. I'm gonna reach over with my opposite. So if it's to my right, I'm reaching over with my left, setting in on the opposite side. And then I'm gonna reach with my right to the left and here. So you should feel this, guys. You're working, and it doesn't matter if you actually get it across the mat, just as far as you can go. You're working all through the abs just by holding that plank, and then as you reach through and move it over, we're engaging the obliques, our side muscles. So you're reaching. Again, you should feel those abs burning. Lots of things working here. Breathe reach and reach and we'll go one more each way keep those hips in alignment you know your good plank position last one and relax breathe stretch it back you guys we're almost there so then we're gonna come in our plank position again we're gonna put the kettlebell right in the center so I'm here and I'm up on the hands and I'm gonna bring my knee towards the kettlebell as far in as I can get it. Trying to touch if I can, nice and light. Don't bang that knee, but pulling it in and placing the kettlebell as close to those hands as we can, right in the center, so we really have to bring that knee in tight. And breathe. And we'll keep it here just a couple more. So it's like we're holding a plank while we get a crunch. Breathe, two more. And relax, stretch it back. Whew, good guys, you should be feeling that. I hope you are, I know I am. One more thing from here. So staying in that plank, we're gonna now twist across. So I'm trying to get my knee on the outside of the kettlebell and bring it back to center. Outside of the kettlebell, back to center. And breathe. There we go, guys. There's a lot of planks right in a row, but you can do it. Hold that belly button in, hips down, but not dropping down too much. And we'll go four more. Four, three, two, last one, and relax, stretch it back. Whew. So stay here in the child's pose. Reach those hands in front, head and neck down. Really reach away from your body, stretching that back. And then bring it up slowly. And take a few minutes on your own to stretch your back and your abs and your neck muscles. And there you go, guys. That was your quick kettlebell ab workout. Good job, everybody.